Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Akame Baka Kill, episode 5, entitled Kill the Dream. Whew. Okay, now a lot of stuff happened in this week's episode of Akame Got Kill, so let me just get right into it, okay? <coughs> the first, real, one of the biggest things that happened here was you got to learn a little bit more about Shele, or Shele, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not too sure what the, ex what the precise pronunciation of her name is. But I'm just going to call her Sheely. So we got to learn about the backstory of Sheely. Um, because she was the one basically in this episode who was training Tatsumi. And so we got to learn her backstory. Basically, like with Mine, uh, she, ba she basically had a pretty, tra pretty traumatic past. She grew up in the uh, capital and she basically always resented by everyone because she's kind of an airhead. And she kind of is, and I'll explain why in a sec here. And, but however, she did manage to meet a female friend who she was the only person who she, she could really get along with and thus be happy with. However, one day her, basically a guy came to her door who was her ex-boyfriend, Sheely was there, and the guy almost killed her. However, Sheely ended up killing the guy, and it was considered ruled to be in self-defense. However, for some reason she never saw her friend again. Now, it didn't really explain too well exactly why this is. It didn't specifically say, you know, did she, did, did the uh, girl, did, did her friend, like, resent her for killing, for killing the guy, or did, which wouldn't make much sense to me because the guy tried to fucking kill her. Or did she, was she shocked by that revelation and see Sheely is kind of like a, uh, monster or a beast or something that could possibly be as well but it didn't really say so i kind of hope that it does in the future i'm not sure if it does in the manga or not but please don't spoil it for me anyways i mean you can tell me if it does if you've read the manga you can tell me in the comments below, section below if it does say anything more about that but don't if it does don't expo don't spoil what exactly that is okay anyways though so that was one of the biggest things that happened in this episode we got to learn more about uh Sheely. We also got, um, Tatsumi and Leone head, basically heading to the capital, to the section where, where, uh, Leone grew up at, and they end up getting separated, basically, because they're running away from some guys who Leone owes, basically, gambling debts to, and they end up getting separated, and Tatsumi meets this, uh, woman named Seiyu, who's apparently a member of the Imperial Army who actually does own an Imperial Arms, which I guess few people that are her rank own one. She's probably like the only one, I think. And she does own an Imperial, Ar an, an Imperial Arms. We don't exactly know what that is yet. What her Imperial Arms is yet. Or we know what it is, but we don't know what it does. We don't know what its power is yet, basically. And the two of them actually get along. You know, the Seiyu helps Tatsumi get back to the section of the city that he was in previously, previously and before, and and then she leaves. However, however, after she leaves, she does say to her, or think to herself that she's eager to find Night Raid. And we find out that she was actually a disciple of the ogre who was defeated, a few, who was killed by Tatsumi a few episodes ago. We don't exactly know if they were related or anything, or if they just got along very well, or why she was his disciple. But we know that she was his, his disciple, and she basically wants to take revenge for him. Essentially, so she wants to find night raids, specifically the people who, specifically probably the one who defeated or killed the ogre, who was Tatsumi, but probably the rest of them as well. And she seems to be overly obsessed with justice as well, but we don't really know what kind of justice she's preaching about yet. But she also does seem like a very interesting character as well. <clears throat> okay. And the last thing that happened in this episode was basically learning about um, this this one chick who's like in the northern land right now or something in the Imperial Army, apparently really high up in it. I forget what her name is. It's really really difficult name, but she's basically like this Imperial Arms user who has like this ice Imperial Arms apparently. And she, how do I describe her? She's kind of nuts, like all 
in the, the enemy so far have been. She appears to be some somewhat of a sadist, kind of like that rich family that we saw in the first episode was. I mean, she has she's having this. I mean, she, I mean, she's surrounded by these followers, and she's having this naked man lick her feet. Okay. And then she kicks him in the face, killing him. He was chained up when he was doing it, by the way. Or when he was doing it, by the way. Yeah. Now, this is, I've heard about this character. I still don't remember her name, though, unfortunately. But, yeah, this is going to be kind of interesting, I think. But anyways, though, and that's pretty much all that happened in this episode, though. Um, it was a really good episode. I thought it was the best episode in the series so far, okay? The animation was a mixed bag, you know, like... When we were getting the backstory for Sheely, it was actually really fucking good. And also the final scene with Sheely and Tatsumi was also really fucking good. That wasn't the final scene in the episode, but the final scene when we saw the two together was also really fucking well animated. And... And, um... And there were other scenes in the episode too, which were also really well animated. There were... Of course, some still frames, but it wasn't really enough to, to make me complain too much. <sighs> so anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.